Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that mean linked with the summer transfer move to Arsenal. Now, lots of reports today that Arsenal are finally close to securing the signature of Thomas Lamar, the number one target uh, since they uh, bought Lacazette. Lamar has been the number one target. We know that Arsenal have gone in with two bids. We know they're very interested. Arsene Wenger has even admitted it. Now today, a lot of reports going around in the media that Arsenal have made uh, are about to make another bid. They're confident that this one's going to get done, and that Monaco will cash in on yet another one of those players. You've got to feel, you know, I'm actually was looking at it this morning. I said, like, I feel it for Monaco fans. I mean, <laughs> they've lost Bakayoko. They could lose Lamar, Mendy, uh, Mbappe. Looks like he's going to be going. I mean, they're just not going to have no team left. I mean, but lots and lots of money and uh the fee could be about 50 million pounds again i have to stress that a lot of these reports don't seem to be based off of a lot that's coming out of uh monaco but a lot of the speculation a lot of what people are saying seems to be that listen they just resigned to the fact that he wants to go they want to cash in on him get the money and just keep building their sort of youth program that they've got. So it be really interesting to see what happens with uh, Lamar over the next week or so. But reports saying that we're close to getting it done. We're also being linked with another French player, plays for Nice, uh, Jean-Michel Serri. Uh, it's 26, a central midfielder, very highly rated. Now, L'Equipe, the they had a report today where they said, and this is their quotes, that Arsenal are keen on the player and that they have a real interest. Now, the fee for him is reportedly going to be round about, well, he's got a release clause of £35 million. Uh, seven goals and nine assists yesterday, uh, yesterday uh, last season. And as I said, uh, he was in that team, that Nice team that played really well last season and really highly thought of. Arsenal, apparently, as I was saying, I keep saying here, that he's, they're really interested in him. Um, again... We have been linked with this guy over quite a few weeks. Whether Arsenal are going to move for him or not, I mean, that's a high fee for him. I can't say that I know a lot about him. I've only seen him play on a couple of occasions, but I don't really know enough about him to really say whether he's a top player or not. It's just that the report's coming out of France that he is a top player. Do any of you guys out there know a lot about Seri? Let us know, but Arsenal heavily linked with a move for Seri today. Um, it was really this curious case yesterday of Wellington Silva. Now, he's the Brazilian that we signed. We had him at the club for years and years, loan after loan, and then eventually we sold him to Fluminense in Brazil. Um, then now, Bordeaux wanted to buy him, and uh, the reports were that Arsenal uh, had a clause, a buyback clause, where they could buy back Wellington Silva. So they activated that, bought him back, then sold him to uh, Bordeaux, right? However, when he went to Bordeaux, he failed his medical, so Bordeaux refused to have him, and now Arsenal have been lumbered with Wellington Silva. That was the big rumour going around yesterday. However, uh, my understanding is that is, that is not 100% true. Arsenal did not buy him back. They just have a sell-on clause. So it's one of those clauses where, where they sold him to Fluminense, and when Flamenzi sell him on now, Arsenal then have a sell-on clause. So let's say, for instance, they get five million, Arsenal would get a million. So what Arsenal is saying is, listen, we have not bought back the player. We're not lumbered with him. He's gone back to Flamenzi. And uh, there's just, you know, all it means is that Arsenal are not going to benefit from the sell-on clause, which they would have done if he would have been sold to Bordeaux. Hope you understand all of that I've just told you, but that was the big thing going around yesterday. Now, Jack Wilshire, where will he be playing his football come the end of the summer? Again, another guy's only got one year left on his contract. The reports are that Arsenal are keen to cash in on Wilshire now. They don't want to loan him out again. He's uh, injured at the moment, as we know. West Ham are the team that are really, really interested. I mean, there's been teams in Turkey interested. There's been Sampdoria in Italy interested. But West Ham seem to have a real serious interest in trying to sign Jack Wilshire. Jack Wilshire wants regular football now. He wants to reignite his career. Always injured, as we know. Arsenal may be willing to cash in. Will he end up at West Ham? We'd have to wait and see. Should we be keeping him? I'd like to know from you guys. Let me know in the comments below. Do we cash in on Jack Wilshire now? 
or should we keep him? I mean, we still have a problem, I think, in that central, central midfield position where it's deep lying, you know, the position that Santi Cazola plays, we still have a problem there. Jack would be the ideal player to fill it if he's fit. Can he fill it? Um, let me know, should we be keeping him or should we just get rid now and move him on? And finally, we've got to talk about Alexis Sanchez. Uh, reports today in the Metro saying that uh, he, when he returns back to training on Monday, he's going to let Arsene Wenger know that he wants to leave the club and that he's desirous to go to Manchester City. And uh, then we see what happens from there. The, again, I stress their report is based off of no factual information. It seems to be highly speculative, but it does seem that, listen, when he comes back on Monday, you know, their speculation is probably quite correct, and maybe not in what he's exactly he's going to say, but surely there's going to have to be talks over his future. I mean, we've still got these players. Mesut Ozil, who I'm almost sure, I've been told for quite a while that that's done. He's going to sign, but still, it's not been announced yet. Oxlade-Chamberlain, what's happening? And Sanchez and, and Jack Wilshire. What's happening with the only club? If you look at all the big clubs at the moment, you don't see key players at City, United, Chelsea, Liverpool, where it's hanging in the ballot. Well, Liverpool got Emre Chan, um, where he's got a year, a year left. But apart from that, I mean, we, we've got four of our main players Sanchez, Ozil, Oxlade Chamberlain, and Jack Wilshire. How was this allowed to happen that these guys are in the last year of their contract and deals were not signed up? It is absolutely disgraceful as far as I'm concerned and something that needs to be sorted out fast. Thanks for watching AFTV Transfer Daily today. Keep the comments coming in. Don't forget to subscribe here. Um, by the way, big announcement um, I'm going to be making uh, that's going to be coming out tomorrow. Um, I ain't going to reveal too much about it, but it's a pretty interesting one. So... Get ready for that. Subscribe to Arsenal Fun TV.